Hey guys, what's up? Alpha Lion Simba here, and welcome to another creature comparison. Well, in case you're wondering why I have my nose plugged, that's because today's comparison is going to be rather sticky. I'm going to compare and contrast the striped skunk and the spotted skunk. Let's begin and bring some baking soda and hydrogen peroxide with you. As always, we start with our similarities. Both the striped and spotted skunk are members of the family Methidae. They were once thought to be mustelids, the same family as weasels, ferrets, stoats, badgers, wolverines, and otters, but now it's determined that skunks are in a family of their own. But of course, we all know what skunks are most infamous for. Their chemical defense, where they spray a foul-smelling liquid at their enemies. But a skunk will give a few warnings first before it sprays. The first warning that a skunk will give before it sprays is by raising its tail. If that doesn't work, it'll arch its back and stamp the ground with its front paws. And if that doesn't work for the spotted skunk, its final warning is by doing a handstand. And if a predator ignores all its warnings, that's when the skunk sprays. And skunk spray is not something to take lightly. This liquid will burn your skin, and if it hits the eyes, it'll make you blind. Yup, it's enough to deter most predators, except for the owl. It was long believed that if you got sprayed by a skunk, the best thing to use to get rid of the smell is tomato juice. Well, that's not really the case. What you really need is a quart of 3% hydrogen peroxide solution found at any pharmacy or supermarket, a quarter cup of baking soda, and a teaspoon of liquid dishwashing soap. Skunks are also omnivores. They feed mainly on insects, eggs, small mammals, and birds, but they will also eat fruit, nuts, and vegetation. But the skunk's diet also changes with the seasons and is also influenced by its locality. The mating season for a skunk usually lasts in February and March. And with spotted skunks in the southern part of their range, like central Mexico, they can give birth at any time of the year. While in their northern part ranges, along with striped skunks, they usually give birth during the spring. And they usually have about five to six young per litter after a gestation period of four months. Now, let's talk about the differences. First up, the striped skunk is bigger. Striped skunks weigh 1.25 to 6 kilograms, or 2.8 to 13 pounds, and are about 51 to 71 centimeters, or 20 to 28 inches long, including the tail, and stand up to 25 centimeters, or 10 inches tall. Spotted skunks on the other paw weigh 1.3 pounds and are about 33 to 56 centimeters, or 13 to 22 inches long. In terms of range, the striped skunk is spread almost throughout the lower 48 United States and much of Canada, even northern Mexico, and they can be found in a wide variety of habitats mostly forests and wetlands, but occasionally are found in deserts. By contrast, the spotted skunk can be found in a lot of the lower 48 states of the United States and southwestern Canada, and their range also expands all the way into Central America, so they're slightly more widespread than the striped skunk. Well, that was it. My creature comparison between the striped skunk and the spotted skunk. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. 
Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's return to the safari hat and see what the next creature comparison is going to be. Let's see. Uh-huh. Well, here's a little hint as to what the next one is going to be. Who let the dogs out? Woo! 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 Who let the dogs out? Alpha Lion Simba, out.